Catherine Adams was the fourth wife of longtime conservative radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh. They tied the knot in 2010 and were married until his death on February 17, 2021, at age 70. Adams announced her husband's death on his radio show. Limbaugh had also used his radio program, which he hosted for more than 30 years, to reveal in February 2020 that he had been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. The day after Limbaugh revealed his lung cancer diagnosis, President Donald Trump presented Limbaugh with the Presidential Medal of Freedom during the State of Union address. Adams was by his side. Here's what you need to know about Mrs. Limbaugh. 1. Adams was working as an event planner when she and Limbaugh began dating. Limbaugh and Adams first met in the mid-2000s due to her work as an event planner. Adams ran a charity golf tournament that Limbaugh participated in back in 2004. Limbaugh was still married to third wife Marta Fitzgerald when he was introduced to Adams. Limbaugh and Fitzgerald announced their separation in June 2004 after 10 years of marriage, as the Today Show reported at the time. The split occurred a few months after Limbaugh entered rehab for an addiction to prescription painkillers, as the Palm Beach Daily News reported. Limbaugh and Adams stayed in touch but didn't begin a romantic relationship until 2007. The Huffington Post reported in March 2008 that Adams and Limbaugh's relationship became public knowledge when they attended a fundraiser in Miami together. The outlet added that Adams worked for the South Florida Super Bowl host committee. 2. Adams and Limbaugh's lavish nuptials included a performance by Elton John. Catherine Adams and Rush Limbaugh had a lavish wedding ceremony in Palm Beach, Florida, in June 2010, as People reported. Adams was 33 and Limbaugh was 59 at the time. The couple invited about 400 people to celebrate with them. Guests included high-profile names such as Fox News commentator Sean Hannity, Carl Rove, a former advisor to President George Bush, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, and New England Patriots owner Bob Kraft. The man providing the entertainment for the evening was none other than Elton John. Adams and Limbaugh reportedly paid him $1 million to play at their reception, according to The Guardian. 3. Adams is a direct descendant of President John Adams and lived all over the world as a child. Catherine Adams Limbaugh and her family can trace their lineage back to the founding of the United States. She is a direct descendant of President John Adams, as People reported in 2010 when she married Limbaugh. Her father, Richard Rogers, graduated from the Naval Academy in the same class as the late Senator John McCain. Limbaugh praised his father-in-law during a 2017 episode of his radio show as the definition of strength and a motivating influence. Limbaugh explained that Rogers moved his family around often because of his career as an international businessman. He said Adams grew up all over the world in places including Rio de Janeiro, London Guinea-Bissau in Africa, the Philippines and Hawaii. Adams talked about her upbringing in a 2008 interview to describe her relationship with Limbaugh, who was 26 years her senior. She explained at the time, I grew up so differently, traveling around the world, that I'm sometimes not able to relate to the average person my age. 4. Adams co-authored several books with her husband. Adams was born Catherine Elizabeth Rogers in December 1976. When she and Limbaugh tied the knot, she was referred to as Catherine Rogers in news reports, such as the Washington Post and People magazine. It's unclear exactly when she started using Adams as part of her name. She used the full name Catherine Adams Limbaugh on several books she co-authored with her husband. She and the radio host created a children's series called Adventures of Rush Revere. The first book was published in 2013, and the five-part series became a New York Times bestseller. According to the series' website, Adams suggested Rush write a book that would teach American history in a fun and engaging way, so young readers could truly understand the story of our founding. 5. Adams was accused of cheating on Limbaugh in 2017. The Limbaugh's faced infidelity rumors a few years into their marriage. Radar Online reported in 2017 Adams was cheating on Limbaugh with younger men, including athletes and a married man. The National Enquirer cited family insiders who said Adams had used her husband's private plane to travel to meet other men. The tabloid also reported that the couple had not signed a prenup, Limbaugh has an estimated net worth of $600 million, and that Limbaugh turned a blind eye to her indiscretions. However, the tabloid newspaper added that a spokesperson for the radio show denied the rumors and insisted that Catherine has been faithful to her famous husband.